Alright, hey guys, welcome. Um, this is part four of my tutorial for XBMC. Um, in this um, part, we're going to talk about Ember Media Managing software, and I'll show you how to download that, where to get it. I'll also put a link in the download uh, in the show notes. Um, so first of all, what we want to do is we want to make an empty folder on your desktop and just name it whatever you want. You can name it Ember or Media, whatever you want. That's going to be for our software. So after you've done that, the next thing you want to do is go to this website here. And you can see the web address there. And um, click on one of these. These are the downloads, either 86 for normal Windows or 64 for 64-bit Windows. Um, and unzip that to your desktop. Now actually unzip it to this media file here, so I'll just quickly do that. Uh, the folder that you created. Alright, uh, before we open up Ember, I'm going to just show you my movie folders and you can see that each of my movies is in a folder of its own and the name of the movie folder is exactly the same as the movie file that's really important when we're working with XBMC um, you can see that this folder is empty after working with Ember you'll go back and check this folder and you'll notice that Ember has altered all my folders um, so that XBMC recognizes each of the items that it places in there so now we'll just open up Ember and show you how to run it. Now just take a few seconds. Now click on English. Click Next. Now this is to add your movie folder, so just give it a name. And search for where your movies are saved on your computer. You can add um, as many folders as you want to that if you have an external hard drive or something like that. Click next, I select all of these. Click next, click OK. Now this is just going to quickly search for my movies and it's found them all. Um, now you probably don't have any ticks here and I wouldn't worry about that. Um, each of these ticks symbolizes something in the folder um, so in that blood the last vampire folder that I just showed you it was empty so that's why there's no ticks the only thing that was in there was a the movie file um, so now we want to get a poster for it we want to get the fan art which is the backdrop in XPMC uh, we want to search for the information for it and this is the trailer that's something you have to add manually and also the subtitles you have to add manually and um, the extra thumbs are for the grey boxes that were in XBMC and some of our view modes where we had those empty grey boxes the extra thumbs are the thumbnails that are going to go into those pictures into those boxes so um, we can do that inside Ember so the first thing I want you to do um, is go to settings and I click on scraper images and I add these two options here it takes a lot longer to search through your movies, but it's going to give you more um, results, as in more DVD covers and more fan art and more background. So apply that, click OK. Now, first thing you're going to want to do, and this is going to take a long time if you have a lot of movies. Um, the first time I did this, I was playing around. I had just under 400 movies, so it was just a nightmare it took hours and hours and hours to configure. It actually took me about two weeks. So click on this, click on automatic and click on all items. Now you'll see here that it's down the bottom here, it's scraping my movies and it's basically looking for um, covers and backdrops and you can see it started working. See doghouse has nothing at the moment and once it starts doing doghouse, there you go. So. I'm just going to finish doing my movies and I'll get back to you. Okay, so Ember's finished scraping all my um, metadata and getting all the covers and stuff. You can see it looks a bit healthier now with all these ticks. 
Now I'll notice that Trick or Treat does not have a poster of fan art. So something we can do there is right click on it and go edit movie. Now you can see it's come up with all the information. So we want a post. Um, that's our poster. Okay, you can do this on any of your movies. So say if I'm not happy with this um, cover here, I can go change poster. It's now going to go online and download as many posters as it can for this movie. And if I find something that I want differently, I might say I want this one. I can just click OK and it's changed my poster. Now the fan art, it doesn't have fan art so no fan art was found for this movie. Um, I can add my own or I can change where the fan art downloads or yeah I can add my own if I went onto Google. So it's just something that you can work through. Now um, I can also go down here and I can right click on it and I can either rescrape it um, rescan it through IMDB so and that might find my fan art for me now the next thing we want is oh, extra thumbs so you see we have none at the moment so we're going to click on frame extraction load movie and it's going to find the exact movie so it's found trick or treat and this is the timeline for our movie so you're just going to move it across and click grab frame and it takes a little bit and when I find a picture I want I can save that as extra thumb now I'm going to need four extra thumbs so this can take a while to go through and get all the four extra thumbs you want you don't have to do it this way you can add images from Google or wherever you want to get them um, but this is an easy way to do it. So once I have four thumbs that I'm happy with, I can go now to click on extra thumbs and click transfer now. And that has transferred all those four thumbs I just took. Now I can now shift those about also. Um, and I can go back and take some more thumbs if I want. So, <coughs> yeah. Um, so now that I click OK, you'll notice that the extra thumb box is now ticked. I don't have subtitles because I have to manually add them, um, the subtitle file for this movie. I have to manually add it and just add it inside the movie folder. Um, the trailer, I'm going to go through with you in the next part how to get the trailers, um, how to get really good trailers and add them to your folder. So don't worry about the last three ticks and just work through until you've got the first three ticks for all your movies and you're happy with the background. Like, I'm not very happy with this Transformers one. Um, one other thing, if it's the wrong movie, you can right click on it and you can change movie and either that or rescrape IMDB and it's going to go online and sometimes I did have a movie called Notorious for Notorious B.I.G. and it kept coming up with a 1946 movie called Notorious so you've got to re-change re movie or re-scrape it and find the correct one. Um, basically that's it, you've got to work your way through um, so you'll see here these are all the different backgrounds I can choose from so I can just pick anyone Oops, the higher quality, click OK and save that. Um, Alright, you'll see here that now that I click into Blood the Last Vampire, you see that all this info has now been added to it and each, fold, each file is named correctly and XBMC is going to pick that up and add that. So, yeah, thanks. Um, so yeah, basically play around with Ember, get it all running right. If you're having trouble, go on to Google or just um, go on to my YouTube page and leave a message with something that's given you problems. Um, and next part, I'll teach you about um, trailers. 
so thanks for watching and please rate my videos